Is this not the cutest thing? It is a hard to find stuffed animal. I don't think I could find any like it. Got it at the bin, sold it for $32.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos items that I sourced cheap and sold for a profit on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are items that I sold for $35 or less. And I call these my bread and butter bolos. So the same person bought these little hats, Little Tykes Apple Grove Pals, two hats, police and soldier. Now, I had no idea what these were. I'm pretty sure that I probably used Google Lens, but one key factor is they say little tykes on them. So that did help. If you don't know how to use Google Lens, it is like one of the best reseller tools and it is absolutely free. I do have a video that teaches you how to use it. If you type in Bolo Buddies Google Lens, um, it will pull it up on YouTube. And that is definitely a video I recommend you watch if you're not using Google Lens. So they bought this hat and then they bought these two little toys. These came out of a thrift store mystery box. I think all of the, both of these did. And this is what they look like. I sold both of these. I'm sorry. The hats were $9.25. And then because they paid full shipping for the hats, I discounted this to $5 because they paid shipping on both and then I shipped them together. So that's how we worked out the discount on that. So um, yes, same buyer on both those items. But this is another one I had never seen before. H-U-I-L-E Toys is the brand. So have you guys ever seen these? Pretty interesting, right? This is a Daisy Kingdom 18-inch doll outfit. If you guys don't know, Daisy Kingdom is typically a bolo. If you see that brand, look it up. I did not know that doll clothes were made by Daisy Kingdom, but apparently so. I uh, got this at a garage sale for $4. I did pay up a little bit for it because I knew that I could do pretty well with it. Or I had a feeling. I guess I shouldn't say I knew. But I sold this for $35 plus shipping. Uh, this next one is another four piece bundle. This is Disney junior bluey queen bingo plush dog with tags. So you've got the two plush stuffed animals. I got those at a thrift store for a total of $3 for the pair. This one here came from a thrift store also. And it says that I paid three bucks for it. And it is the jungle book plush stuffed, stuffed animals right there. Itty bitties by Hallmark on the original packaging. Pretty cool, right? This is a LuLaRoe classic. And the reason I picked these up, they took forever to sell was because they were Disney. And this one was Bambi. And I'm sorry, but I don't care if you don't like this brand. That is cuteness right there. Look at that. That's so cute. And they also bought the Mickey Mouse. So uh, these were $3 a piece at a thrift store. And I have a video on this. I got these a long, long time ago. And you know what? I totally just lied to you. I had my numbers wrong. I thought it was wrong. I paid a dollar for these at a thrift store and I got this at the bins. I kept thinking, I thought I got that at the bins in my head. And then I'm like, no, I wrote it down. These were $3 a piece at a thrift store. So I gave you the wrong information, but the buyer bought all four of those items for $60 and 45 cents. And when you add items to your cart on first class items or ground now ground advantage, it gives you a $5 shipping discount. So you pay $5 in most cases, if it doesn't give you the shipping discount, then, um, it glitched or one of your items that you added to the cart doesn't apply. And then in that case, you would just message me. Uh, so yeah, $60 and 45 cents and they were all in for 60 to 20 with discounts. These are Wiz Kids Hero Clicks, and these are the replacement parts. So I bought a whole bunch of these in a mystery box from uh, Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube channel. And I sold the other, like a big set of them, I think for around $100. You'll see those in another video. And they were a big money bolo because I sold them in bulk. These were broken. So I decided, hey, I'm just going to see... If anybody's going to want these stands and these parts that are broken, 
And sure enough, I sold it for $12 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Jimbery strawberry baby plush rattle fruit with a face stuffed toy. And it is hard to find. So I did put rare in the title. I don't think I could find another one like it. I got it at the bin, sold it for $15 plus shipping. Victoria's Secret scarf and beanie. This is the second one I'm, I have sold. I am now out of stock. I got these at a garage sale. I did pay up $5. They were new with tags. Really great purchase. Sold it for $31 plus shipping. The next item is this Animal Alley Border Collie black and white puppy dog plush stuffed animal. And anytime I can find stuffed animals that look like people's animals, I pick them up because you know what? People want things that look like their animals. Realistic is a great word to put in the title. I did not do that here. Sold this for $12.40, paid 50 cents at a garage sale. The buyer was all in for $22.47. The next item is this LOL Surprise Interactive Kitty. This was just a bread and butter major bread and butter, $5.58 and the buyer paid shipping, but it's a little animated cat. It's from LOL surprise. So, um, it, it just, I think it might move and talk. I can't remember this here. I got it a garage sale for a quarter. Uh, this is the same garage. sale I think that I got all of those, um, really cool Chuck E. Cheese items, but I sold this for, $22 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a new old stock Winnie the Pooh from 1997 and it is Goody brand. Always, always, always look up Goody brand. I don't think I found any comps on this, so I priced it high. Does have some damaging on the packaging, but the bow was fine. The next item is this vintage Little Tykes Blue Roof Dollhouse white railing replacement part. And I've sold two and I have two more available. This is, is an this is an example of parting out a house and the house had damage. If I remember correctly, I don't remember all the details, but I parted out the little tykes house and you can make some good money parting out that house. Take it down to the bones. Um, all right, let's see. I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this chosen gray mouse plush, fluffy, fuzzy stuffed animal. Is this not the cutest thing? It is a hard to find stuffed animal. I don't think I could find any like it. Got it at the bin, sold it for $32.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Royal Escort Jack the Mouse mini action figure from Cinderella. And when I tell you it's mini, it's teeny, teeny tiny. Um, I paid 25 cents at a garage sale for this and I sold it for $11.70. The buyer was all in with tax and shipping for $18. 33. Uh, cake topper is another good thing to put in the title. This one, the Simpsons, Krusty the Clown. Um, a viewer sent me a box of a buddy mail and it was plush. And I believe it's MSG's treasures on eBay. If I remember correctly, I always have a hard time uh, remembering her eBay store name or it's estates or something like that. But uh, she sent me a buddy box and you guys can check that out if you would like. I do have it on the, did I say MSG? <laughs> Isn't that salt? <laughs> what is MSG? Oh my goodness. What is MSG? Here's what I found. Also known as sodium. Yes, yeah, salt. <laughs> That's not her name. It's AEG, AEG Estate Treasures. Maybe that's it. Oh my goodness. But anyway, there's a whole video of me unboxing it. You guys can go check it out. And um, her eBay store is over there. But how funny is that? Sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, definitely not MSG. I don't even know if I said that now. I'm just questioning myself. The Simpsons, Krusty the Clown, 2018. This is a charming tales. I'm sending you my love. And I got this at a thrift store for $3, sold it for $26 plus shipping. Here is another replacement part. Uh, this one is from the play school dollhouse. Uh, right here. You can see it is the frame piece on the back. It will give you a piece number right there. You can put that in your title. This also had a lot of fading and I still sold it for $17 plus shipping. What I will say is this is kind of annoying to, to ship. Um, I usually have to make a box. 
The next item is this Mary Inglebright poster books fall open 11 by 14 made for St. Louis Library public display and it even had damage. I got this at the Goodwill bin, sold it for $24 plus shipping. Anything Mary Inglebright, people like the graphics, uh, definitely look it up. Build-A-Bear Workshop Nintendo DS game. This is how I do my photos for games. I got this for 50 cents, sold it for $26, then the buyer paid shipping, and I paid 50 cents at a garage sale. The next item, embroidery floss. More embroidery floss. I have 16 more available. This is color 321 red, and I sold this for $10, and the buyer paid shipping, and that's for 12 skeins, skeins. I forget. There's a big debate about that. Mega Bloks Dragons Replacement Parts. Incomplete. These are just parts. Just parts. I knew I could sell them. I knew it. Um, got it at the Goodwill Bins. Sold these for $15 plus shipping. They are Mega Bloks Legos. Same things. Repla replacement parts do sell. Now, what I will tell you is a lot of times they are long tail, which means they take a while to sell. This is a vintage goodie hair comb or side comb. Faux tortoise shell, small mini. And it's not very big, guys, but it is marked goodie. And these are a nice little bread and butter bolo. Sold it for $14.26 and the buyer paid shipping. And I don't remember where I got that one. All right. That concludes this bread and butter bolo video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if any of these surprised you. Check out the links down below for other things I use for my reselling business. Check out Google Lens. It's a free source um, that you can use to help you identify items and look up comps. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.